Hello, good morning. I am Manoj Bishra Karma. Welcome you to my YouTube channel MM Cyber Classes. Today we will discuss about BlueJ. Okay, BlueJ is an IDE that is Integrated Development and Environment, specifically designed for teaching Java at an introductory level. It was designed and implemented by the BlueJ team at Monash University, Australia. Usually Java applications are compiled and executed from the command front by typing the commands for it. The users, users should know the commands and their syntaxes. BlueJ helps students to execute the program without knowing the commands, but just by using the GUI objects that is buttons and menus. BlueJ helps students to execute the program inside Java. To execute program outside Java, some special methods that is the main method is required. In the main method, you know, we write the long statement like public, static, void, main, string, arch. Some portion of the statement cannot be explained in the introductory level. That is the reason why BlueJ is introduced. BlueJ, the main purpose of the BlueJ is to teach Java in an introductory, in elementary, in elementary level. BlueJ has lots of, lots of advantages. First one, BlueJ, as I told, BlueJ is an IDE that is, it consists of mainly one editor, one debugger, one viewer. Okay, now you see. BlueJ is an IDE that is integrated development and environment. It is the integration of editor, menu system, and some GUI object. Okay. It is the integration of editor, menu system, and some GUI objects. Your editor will help you write the Java source code. You need not to search other editors like DOS editor or Notepad or Wattpad. Okay, it is inbuilt. Many system and the GUI of GUI means graphical users interface. So GUI objects will help you to compile, to execute the Java program without knowing the commands and their syntaxes. The many system is helpful to compile and execute the Java source code. Okay. So before going to use BlueJ, you should know how to install BlueJ. What are the basic things required to work with BlueJ? BlueJ is a software, but if, as, if you think by installing BlueJ, you can work with Java program, then you are, you are wrong. Because as I told, BlueJ consists of only editor, debugger, and viewers. But basic thing required for BlueJ is JDK, that is Java Development Kit, which contains your library classes, your compiler, your executor, everything is present in JDK. So you need to install JDK. So download first download BlueJ from the website www.bluejay.org, which is free of cost. Then you download JDK 1.5. There are so many sites are available where you can get JDK 1.5 and install it in the computer. Both BlueJ and JDK should be installed in one drive. <coughs> After installation of BlueJ, the BlueJ icon will be appeared on the desktop screen. So which one you have to use time time to work with BlueJ? Okay. Now I will tell you the process of writing and executing Java program using BlueJ. There are four different steps required to work with BlueJ. First one, you have to write the Java source code. Okay. After writing the source code, you have to compile and create the object. After creating the object, what you have to do? You have to execute a method through the object. <coughs> Okay, what is the process to create and execute Java source code using BlueJ? Here there are four different steps to create and execute Java program. First, create Java source code, compile and correct the syntax errors, create object and call a method through the object. First, create Java source code. You have, you have already installed BlueJ icon, you have already installed JDK, your JDK and BlueJ are present in OneDrive, your BlueJ icon is available on the desktop screen. Just you have to double click on the BlueJ icon. Okay, when you double click on the BlueJ icon, the BlueJ window will appear. Okay, right? Then you will see, click on the menu item project. If you are going to do the BlueJ program for the first time, you have to click on the option main menu project. Drop down will appear. You can see and click on new project because first time you are going to create, you are using, you are going to use BlueJ. Give the project name. Either you can give the project name or earlier if you have created the project, then select and open the project. Okay? Open and write the new project name. 
then after the project is created you can create number of classes inside the project then to create the new class click on new class option there is an option in drop down menu new class click on the option new class new class dialog box will get appear then you have to write the class name back write the class name in new class box then click on ok then click on ok a rectangle box will appear a rectangle box will appear in common class you will find several lines on it this is the class box we say this is the class box the rectangular box is known as class box just you have to right click on it when you right click on it the menu will appear ok then click on the option open editor click on the option open editor the editor will be open with pre written course when you are clicking on the option open editor you will find the window where so many pre written codes are there either if, if you know then you can edit the code or completely delete the code and write your new code ok the editor will be open with pre written codes either edit or delete and write the new code ok then this is the your java source code in this way you can create your java source code after the java source code is created it is the time to compile the java source code this is a very simple process after the java source code is created created click on the menu option compile you find in the main menu option there is a uh, main menu item that is compile click on the button, button compile the compiling process will start so during the compiling process the compiler will check the syntax errors of the statements what you written and all the syntax errors will be appear in the bottom part of the screen just you you correct the errors again click on the button compile just okay read the errors carefully and correct the errors after correcting the errors all the errors corrected then you click on the button compile again so continue the process till all the syntax errors are corrected after all the syntax errors are corrected a message will appear on the screen no syntax error till no syntax error message appear on the screen you have to go on compiling and correcting compiling and what do you know the debugging this process will continue after the no syntax error message appear on the screen your compilation process completed <coughs> then after the compiling process is completed this is the time to create the object object creation is compulsory ok when you are creating the object all the variables are allocated spaces in the computer's memory so it is uh, highly essential to create the object to create the object click on the button close now you are in the editor where the source code you have seen that is an error free code all errors you have corrected then you have to click on the button close then after clicking on the close button you can able to see the rectangular box where in the rectangular box you will not find so many lines only two lines will appear that means the program is error free no error free uh, program is completely error free <coughs> then you have to right click on it after right click, click on it you, there is option click on the new class name new class name because class name is the instance so new class name click on the option new class name now create object dialog box will appear on the screen write the object name in the name of the instance box there is a box the box name is <coughs> uh, name of the box is uh, uh, object creation that's the object creation dialog box in the object creation dialog box in box name of the instance there is a text box name is name of the instance instance means the object but there is a pre-written name will be there either you can go with that name or you can write a new name for it ok as for your choice you can give a new name then click on ok so the compiling process sorry the creation of the object process will start in the leftmost here in this area especially in the leftmost bottom corner of the of the screen a progress bar will show you the progress of creation of the object when the progress bar stop your object will be created you can able to see the object name what you have given in that small red box which is present in the leftmost bottom corner of the screen leftmost bottom corner of the screen ok now this is the third step completed now put so this is the code you have tried ok now how you will execute the program ok execution of the java program 
after the java source code is created the object name will be appear at the leftmost bottom portion of the screen just you have to select the object because more than one object you can create just select the object and right click on it then you will get a menu you can able to see all the methods what you define in the class there select the method and click on it okay then your result will be appear in the terminal window what you say is the viewer okay now this is your source code simple source code i have written public class my class public for display uh, this all in the every part of the program we will be discussing afterwards but for this sample java source code to print sum of 10 and 35 okay <coughs> you actually a java program consists of class and some methods this is the class the class is called public class my class this is the method public void display the method and there is okay 10 is the 10 is the value of a 35 is the value of b c is equal to a plus b a 10 and 35 will be added and store in c system dot out dot print ln okay we will discuss in detail about what is system what is out what is print ln afterwards but the overall purpose system dot out dot print ln will display the result on the screen so in the screen the result will come like this sum is equal to your 10 plus 35 is equal to 45 will be appear on the screen okay thank you very much okay thank you for today this was okay i will come soon with the remaining portion of the topic waiting for your valuable comments and comments uh, my id is monos.maharana08 at the rate gmail com gmail dot com if you want to give any uh, remark statements any corrections any uh, improvements any updations please write me in this uh, monos.maharana08 gmail dot com thank you very much